we are going almost 900 meters above sea level to a stairway to nothing. Actually, it's this great little strawberry farm in San Romeo Antiqui. It's up in the mountain ranges that separate Iloilo province from the Antiqui province. We've done a couple other parks in this area. This is the one Melanie was really talking about and had her heart set on. I hope it's good. Let's go find out. And just to add on to the fees, this is what used to be the parking lot, but there's now a private owner that says you cannot park here. But to get to the strawberry farm, we had to pay them 20 pesos to let us walk across their land to get there. Everybody wants a piece of money. Just coming into the park, I've got to say the entry has the drive up appeal. Just walking in looks nice. Lots of visible, you know, a lot of gardening. There's this restaurant bar. We will check that out later. They've got the waterfalls. Um, it's, I hadn't even got in the gate yet and it's already looking good. So we'll see how this turns out. She loves gardens. She loves all the flowers. So I think she's going to enjoy this one a lot. And of course, there's all the things to take pictures with. Everybody's got to be on Instagram and Facebook, right? Got to get your pictures. This is a selfie place. I'm going to wander around and watch them take pictures. I'm not sure that I'm in very many of the pictures, honestly. But they're having fun doing it, and I'm having fun watching them do it. I just don't take a lot of Instagrammy type pictures and maybe I should this place I think is really nice they've done a very good job here is the strawberry farm portion of the strawberry farm not sure what happened to this greenhouse doesn't look like it's much of a greenhouse anymore I guess they don't need it they let you run around and take pictures and videos but there are signs that say no picking the strawberries grow pretty well up here because it is cooler up in the mountains. Down sea level where we live, it's just way too hot. You're not going to grow strawberries. She's never had farm fresh strawberries. I haven't either. But she's never had fresh strawberries at all. So this is going to be a first if they have any to sell. This is the second batch of strawberries, and of what we can get to, that's it. There's only the two patches. But there is a big fence that appears to have much more on the other side. So this is the public part of their farm. It does look like it goes on much farther. Of all the places we've been today, this is our fourth park, I think. This is definitely my favorite i think they've really done a good job it's really pretty if you come here and it's not strawberry season maybe it won't be so good because you have the gardens and it's pretty but we do get to buy some strawberries later no spoilers and because this is built on the side of a mountain everywhere you go there are stairs Many, many stairs, but also nice views. But this set of stairs leads to a bar. Let's investigate that. They do not sell rum and coke. Well, they sell rum and they sell coke. They do not sell rum and coke. So you have to order your drink and then you have to order your coke and then you mix it yourself it's not that complicated i think i'll figure it out this i think would be a great place to sit down and eat the view here is spectacular over there somewhere you can see the montevalli resort that we did a video of it's nice but uh i like this one a lot better they could have just left me here if we came here first and left me in this little restaurant bar and picked me up later. I'd have been fine. 
I found a rum and coke with a view. It's actually Flindador. They call it brandy. I'm not going to argue. It's still good. We should have come here first. They could go to all these places. And I could stay here. Oh well. I had a good day anyway. From the bar, you have a great view of everyone in the strawberry farm. And they're still out playing and taking pictures. I, I took a lot of pictures too. But I needed to sit down and have a drink. And I'm enjoying this quite a bit. And I'm just loving the view. The cookie was, eh, it was okay. But the fundador was nice. Our driver ordered a pizza. And it looked very much like a Philippine pizza. So I abstained from that. Here are some rice terraces. They're not any of the famous rice terraces, but you will see these all over the Philippines. They will put in rice anywhere they can. We did have strawberries to buy. This is the most expensive. These are $3 a tub. So we bought two tubs and we ate them all and they were so good. We shared with everybody that was with us. On the way out, Somebody came up with a horse and was charging for pictures. So everybody wanted their turn on the horse. Except me. I didn't think that little pony wanted my fat ass to get up on him. So we just smiled. Melanie was thinking she was getting a picture. But it turns out she's going to get her first horsey ride to go with her first strawberries. <laughs> He was just moving the horse a little ways for better picture taking. She just didn't know she was going to be riding on it for it. That was her first horse ride and she was very excited. The strawberries were delicious. The park is gorgeous. Fun was had by all. Enjoy your day in paradise.